the Mantis Blackbeard X. I've been testing it for a while. Now I can give you kind of my thoughts on it and the conclusions to my story with this thing. So I got this thing because I wanted to, you know, check it out, check out the training with it, dry fire with it, and and enjoy it. Uh, you, I've talked about it on the channel previously. We've we've discussed it. Now the device itself, that is like the battery, like slash Bluetooth thingy with the the laser emitter coming out of the muzzle, and it you know resets the trigger. The device itself, I actually kind of like. I really do. Now, I, I can tell you I like it just based on this. I, I dry fire my rifles uh, pretty frequently. It's something that I do. And the one that has the Mantis on it, that's the one I want to dry fire. If I'm being honest, like I prefer to dry fire with the Mantis than without it. So like I have targets up from the pro shop. I've got my timer and I go through drills, but it's like, would I prefer the Mantis on or not the Mantis? Well, I prefer the Mantis because it gives me that little click, that little feedback. And then I do have mine set up so that it's it's going to have like a realistic height over bore at close range. So it's like the laser emits and it's like two and a half, three inches below where my sight is telling me the point of impact is. I like this because... The laser is this like just this distraction that's like poking at right the right under the target. And that's realistic to what happens when I'm shooting this this gun. It's like when I'm shooting live ammo up close, I see the bullet holes appearing, but I need to try to ignore that because if I start staring at the holes, my hits are gonna track down and I'll hit lower than I want to. So being honest, like I like dry firing with this thing. I do. It's my preference. I don't do everything with it. Um I use magazines loaded with dummy rounds if I want to practice reloads or have the, the gun be absolutely realistic weight because the magazine on this thing's a little bit light. Uh, if I want to manipulate the bolt, obviously this uh, the, the Mantis is not a real bolt, so you can't manipulate it. If you're doing manipulations on that for training, obviously you need to, you need to use uh, not the Mantis so you can play around with the bolt. But that having been said, again... Like for the most part, I prefer dry firing with it as opposed to not having it. Okay. For what it's worth. Now that's not the whole story with the Mantis though. It's not just the device. There's um, more than one app on the phone uh, for your phone. As I found out about, there's the uh, training Academy thing and then the Mantis X or laser Academy and then the Mantis X app. Now the apps are not good. I I don't know. There's not a nice way to say it. Now the the technology at the end of the day has been working well for me. Like I can I can pair up the Bluetooth on the Mantis thing pairs up with my phone right away. It's easy to use. Um, the problem is it's like not not really that interesting or exciting. And some of it it might actually be counterproductive. So for example, like well the 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 Mantis tracks like the the movement like it's got i don't know what it is like a gyro or or something inside of it where it knows how much it's moving and it does a good job of measuring how much you move the gun uh as you pull the trigger there's no doubt about that it it measures that but some of it is like like i said some of the training is like counterproductive there's one of the the things on the app is how called hostage rescue where it said hey put out a reduced size target you hold the rifle at low ready at the start signal, you mount the rifle and pull the trigger without moving the rifle. But there would be times where I would have said, no, my sight was where I needed for the shot. And that was a good shot based on my training and experience. But the Mantis would no go it because the rifle was in motion a little bit when I was pulling the trigger. So that, in my view, that is counterproductive. Most of it's not counterproductive. Most of it's just kind of goofy. It's like it, like the, the shoot, don't shoot thing is just flashing a different color at you on your, the screen of your phone. And then you pull the trigger or don't pull the trigger based on what you're seeing. Is that kind of cheesy? Yeah. I mean, they're trying to make it like interesting or make it like a phone thing, a phone game. But at the end of the day, I don't know anybody that likes using the phone app, the app components of this thing. I, d I don't know anybody that would buy it for that reason. And like I said, it's fine, I guess, but some of it in my view 
would end up being counterproductive. Um, the app stuff is done. The, the app stuff is where you're like, hey, this Mantis st stuff is like, it's like a marketing company that's posing as a training company. And I think that's a fair way, a fair way to describe it. That's the problem is that they're trying to get more money out of you to get the thing. So they got to add in like phone, like stuff for your phone. That's not necessarily awesome or whatever. I guess the way the, main, the way for me to really think about it is this, like I prefer to drive fire with this. No doubt about it. I like it for dry fire, but eventually, eventually I imagine this thing's going to break and stop working. And then, then the question is, am I going to pay another $300? It was more than 300. I paid for this thing. Would I pay that again to get another one to continue dry firing with it? That's really the question for me that they, to determine how much I like it after I destroy it. Will I buy another one to keep dry firing with it? And I think I'd say no, like it's hundreds of dollars just for a little trigger resetty thing. I probably wouldn't buy another one after I break this one. However, if this thing holds up, like if I'm still using it in like 18 months and it hasn't broken, I may well buy another one and stick it at my other house. If I don't, if I don't believe it's ever going to break. So that's, that's my verdict on the Mantis. Do I like it? Yeah. I mean, I like it more than I thought I would. It's just that the feel of it during dry fire is a little bit more interesting and engaging than just having my trigger be dead. I, I like ignoring the laser that it outputs or like working to ignore it. I like all that stuff. The phone stuff I think is lame. Uh, it diminishes it diminishes the product in my view. They diminish it by making it, it doesn't need to be this complicated. Just make it simple and try to make it cheaper. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys all have opinions about the, the Mantis. So go ahead and put them down below.